Thursday, June 24th. Look right here. Hi, welcome everyone. Volume could be up a little bit. Testing, testing. Ah! Oh. Better! Hi, welcome everyone. We're about to get started, so if you all would like to make your way this way, we'll get started. and will be the only American with Disabilities Act accessible trail along the coast between Santa Cruz and Half Moon Bay. As with any project of this size, this project would not have been possible without support from many stakeholders and funding partners, including a large funding contribution from the Federal Lands Access Program, the Land Trust of Santa Cruz County, the Coastal Conservancy, and again, thanks to the voters for approving the half cent sales tax that allows us to dedicate funding to the Coastal Rail Trail project development. You. You'd think after working up here many years, I'd know better than to print paper for a speech. <laughs> but I've got 
gotten pretty good at holding them flat despite the winds. So to commemorate this event, we have several speakers representing some of the key partner agencies that have made this project possible. Now I'd like to hand it off to the District 3 Supervisor, Justin Cummings. His office has been a strong advocate for moving this project forward for a decade, including strong support for obtaining federal funding. Thank you. How are we doing out there? What a great day. My name is Justin Cummings and I'm pleased to be here to celebrate this moment. We're breaking ground on the North Coast Rail Trail, which comprises much of Segment 5 of the larger Monterey Bay Sanctuary Scenic Trail Network. This is a pivotal project for the 3rd District and I'm excited about it for many reasons. It will provide ADA accessible trail that will give residents and visitors alike an opportunity to access this stretch of coastline with its scenic coastal views and agricultural landscapes. It will provide a, care, a car free alternative to access the North Coast beaches and recreational facilities, allowing cyclists to safely ride between Santa Cruz and Davenport as an alternative to riding on Highway 1. Yeah. It will provide a link to existing and future trails, including the San Vicente Redwoods and the Catoni Coast Dairies National Monument. Phase 2 will also bring much needed paved parking lots and restrooms to Davenport, Panther, and Yellow Beach improved access to Bonnie Dune Beach and a pedestrian crossing of Highway 1 into Davenport. As we begin construction on this first phase, which spans 5.4 miles from Wilder Ranch to Panther and Yellow Bank Beach, I want to recognize and appreciate the many people and agencies that have worked in partnership to get us here, including the Federal Highway Administration, Central Federal Lands, California State Parks, California Coastal Conservancy, the U.S. Department of the Interior, Bureau of Land Management, the Land Trust of Santa Cruz County, among many others. We'd also like to thank the voters for approving Measure D, which has allowed the RTC to be competitive for grant funding. And I would also like to thank my predecessor, Ryan Coonerty, and his staff, Rachel, Dan, Allison, and Ender, who had worked on this prior to me becoming supervisor. And also want to thank my staff, Andy Schiffer, and Sandy Brown. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry. Um, but I want to thank my staff as well for uh, their hard work on this. But especially want to thank the RTC staff, in particular Grace Blakesley, who's been working tirelessly to coordinate the many aspects of this complex project, environmental planning, and design to delivery. And just want to thank, give a huge thanks to Congressman Panetta for helping us get this funding. It was last year that um, our staff reached out to Congressman Panetta and asked, you know, is there anything you can do to help us get this funding sooner? And we crossed our fingers and counted our lucky stars, and he was able to uh, ensure that we were able to get this funding early. And so this wouldn't be possible, and we wouldn't be here today without his help and support. And so just want to give a huge thanks to Congressman Panetta. With that, I'll turn it back over to Grace. Thank you, Supervisor Cummings. The next speaker will be Chris Bohr. He is the California State Parks Santa Cruz District Superintendent. The St California State Parks, we're standing here at Wilder Ranch right now, has been a key partner in developing the Coastal Rail Trail from Wilder to Davenport. They have provided input and support to us at every step of the way. They've helped us navigate all the different steps that we need to be able to partner well with them and to ensure that the benefits of the trail are complementary to the services that they offer the public. Welcome to Wilder Ranch State Park. It's, uh, I'm Chris Spore, I'm the district superintendent, and um, thanks for everybody that rode their bikes. I, I think we would have maxed out the parking lot without that, so good job. Anyway, I am super happy to be here today. Um, this is in a really exciting day, and it's the sort of the, the tangible part of years and years of planning, right? All the collaboration, all the, all the work to get there, but this really means a lot. It, it fits really well with the state park mission, you know, uh, um, this this trail represents uh, that that ability for the public to connect with the outstanding uh, natural and cultural resources here. It provides high quality recreation. All those things are central to what State Parks does. Um, you know, th this this actual piece will connect where we are today, which is sort of the front country of Wilder, which is relatively easy to get to, all the way up through the North Coast, to through Coast Aries, to those beaches up there that are so beautiful, 
um, and on to the Federal Monument, of course, and on to Davenport. But um, it represents a, really an expansion of safe, uh, accessible trail access into these public lands, which is, is just phenomenal. And then beyond that, you know, the, the larger vision that this is a part of will connect this area through other state parks and beaches through the South County. Again, just a phenomenal, a phenomenal thing. And then, you know, it's easy when you're in all the details and you're and you're working through all the gritty details of property lines and realignments and sensitive species mitigation to sort of lose track of the fact that this is a legacy project. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that fits again really well with the state park vision, which is, you know, we're here to steward and provide for uh, these, these amazing resources now and in perpetuity for the generations to come. Generations to come will look at this project and they will be grateful for this. They won't understand how much work it took, but they will be very grateful that it is here and it provides that access. So I'm thrilled about that. And I, I want to congratulate all the collaboration, all the collaborating partners that are here, and especially the leadership of the RTC. It takes that type of leadership and stick with it to make something like this happen. So congratulations. Thank you, Chris. Well, the state park staff has been right there with RTC staff every step of the way. And we couldn't have made it to this point without all the collaboration with your office. Thank you so much. The next speaker will be Zach Ormsby from the Bureau of Land Management, Central Coast Field Supervisor. The Bureau of Land Management manages the Tony Coast Dairies property adjacent to the North Coast Rail Trail project area. The North Coast Rail Trail will provide improved bicycle and pedestrian access to that national monument, which includes 5,000 